Hello there, everybody, and welcome to Apico. Apico is a laid-back beekeeping simulator about breeding, collecting, and conserving bees that released uh, yesterday when you're seeing this, May 20th, 2022, um, the Worldwide Bee Day. Um, it's literally the, the day of bees. So uh, happy, healthy release date. For those that don't know... I have been following this game for like a year and a half, and I'm not even kidding you. Um, I have been waiting for this <laughs> for so long, it's absurd. Um, I know this is a little bit of a strange game for me to cover on the channel, but I'm hoping that you're just down with me, you know, messing around with bees and having a good, good time. This is based off of the Minecraft mod Forestry. Um, if you've ever played it, there's a, a beekeeping thing in it, and I've, I've always loved it. Um, one of the only people I've ever known to love it. Um, and it was just like my favorite part of, of modded Minecraft. So this game is basically like you take that mechanic, mix it with a survival game and like a Stardew Valley kind of game. And then, you know, this is just, this is just life, right? And, and we just create a, a bee empire, uh, making honey and, and doing all kinds of stuff. I'm so excited for this. Um, hopefully you are too. It also is multiplayer, so if you wanted to play along with a friend, uh, you can. It's uh, online multiplayer. I don't believe they have local co-op, um, but definitely online multiplayer. And uh, there's also a modding scene for it already, and they have a couple of mods that they just like put into the game. Um, I'm assuming that maybe they'll have uh, workshop support or something in the future, but this is insanely cool. So... I'm excited to hop in. Uh, massive shout out to TN Engineers, the uh, creators of the game, um, and Whitethorn Games, their publisher, for reaching out with a key for me. Um, I'm just excited. I'm just excited. Let's start. New world. Uh, I get to create me. Oh my god, dude. Um, <laughs> I love the guy with a beehive on his head. I, I don't know, dude. I don't look like... This is me. This is me. Um, it doesn't really look like me, actually, but um, this, is, this is me. Give me that... That dark uh, brown, I'll, I'll go a little bit uh, in the middle on the skin color. My overalls, I mean, we'll try to make me as Olanky as possible, right? So this, this weird blue will work. My undershirt, honestly, that's fine. Um, cool, what's my name? Uh, Olanky, set sail. Send me on my way. Uh, so I believe the game does have procedural generation uh, in terms of this um, world that it creates. But there is also like a, a town mechanic to it so i don't know how any of this is actually done <laughs> uh we'll figure it out dear olanky it was so lovely to get your letter last week i think it's wonderful that you're taking an interest in beekeeping again both me and gramps had always hoped you'd want to carry on the keeper family tradition and in three years gramps will come back and judge you um there isn't anything more enjoyable than being out there with the bees Plus, I'll say it'll be a well-earned break from that busy city job of yours. Um, I've posted you a ticket for the next boat that comes into Stardew Valley. Skipper will be overjoyed to see you again after all these years. Have a safe journey, and I'll see you soon. Love, Nana. Set sail, baby. It's Skipper. Ho, ho, we made it, Alanky, and just as ya, we're getting ya sea legs, ho, ho. Here we are, Port Apico, and what a lovely day it is. It was jolly good to have ya aboard again, matey. Takes me back. Do ya still remember ya way around the place? Ho ho, no problem. Here have my map. I know this place like the back of my boat. Anyway, ya best go see the old girl. She's just... <laughs> I'm sorry. She's just at the end of the pier and down to the left. She's been a buzzin' ever since ya let her. If you need anything, just holler. I've got a few trinkets ya might find useful. Now off ya go. Luck of the hive mother be with ya. And remember, a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor, ho ho. I feel like this dude just keeps on calling me a hoe repeatedly. Just how it how it functions. I'm not moving, by the way. This is this is the game having a nice hearty move on its own. Uh, Nana Belia. Oh, Olanky, so wonderful to see you. Let me get a good look at you. Let me get a good look at you before you hit the grave. Have you been eating properly? Who's been feeding you? Have you had breakfast? Shall I put a kettle on? How was the boat over? Did you feel sick? Or sorry, there's me getting carried away. Just so good to see you again. I was so excited when I got your letter. When you said you wanted to get into beekeeping, I was so pleased. It's been a while since we've had a keeper in the family. Your father never cared for it. I was looking through Grandpa's old things and found the guidebook he was writing. Seems to be quite a lot missing, so maybe you can fill in the rest. Alright. View the guide at any time with G. If you ever get stuck, just have a look through, and I'm sure Grandpa's wisdom will guide the way. Well, anyway, look at me. I'll talk the ear off a bee. 
I better let you get settled. You probably want to go and explore the island. If you need anything, I'll be back at the house. Be safe. Haha, <laughs> okay. Um, that's the next best part of this game is bee puns for freaking days. Uh, and I can't wait. My my titles and thumbnails are going to be absolutely chaos. Uh, okay, so what is going on in here? So we got the bee economist issue one, the bee economist issue two, and the bee economist issue three. Holy crap, dude. Species saved? This is this is just one page. Okay. Honestly, that makes me feel a hell of a lot better cuz I was kind of I was kind of afraid. You have some sawdust. Sells for 0.1 rubies. Okay. Um I'll take some sawdust. I also have some waterproofing. <laughs> Who knows what we're going to need waterproofing for, but but that's fine. Anything in here? Holy crap, you got tools. Okay. I mean, I will I will steal at least a, a pickaxe and a, and an axe. There's a wood... There's a workbench here. Oh, we can make all kinds of stuff. I'm not going to concern myself with with these workbenches and menus and things like that. I need to claim my reward, okay? So welcome to Apico, a game about discovering and breeding bees. This book will serve as your guide throughout the game. If you get lost, stuck, stung by bees, this book is here to help. You can open and close it anytime by pressing G or clicking the icon in the middle toolbar. Okay, yeah, I see that. Close any books, all menus in the game by pressing escape. As you progress through, you'll unlock new chapters, each with their own challenges and rewards. Holy crap. Okay, I see that. Um, as this is your first chapter, have a freebie. A freebie. Huh. Keep her safe. Her name is Beatrice. Fantastic. A common bee. Very cool. I will claim you. Getting around WASD, little WASDA. When you hover your mouse over anything, it will bring up a tooltip. That can be useful. Cool. Interact with anything you can. Reach quite far with those cute little arms. Punch trees, pick some flowers, scare some birds. Just go hog wild. Let's go aggro some forest spirits. Take this axe. Okay, I already had one, but that's okay. Um, thank you very much. Gathering resources. When you click something, you will use whatever item is in your equipped hotbar or held with your cursor. Select that fancy axe or use the hotkeys one through eight. Okay. And you can scroll a la Minecraft. Now we can do some damage. Try not to think about the fact it's made of wood. I said don't think about it. Go and axe some trees. Collect 10 logs. Come back here for your reward. Okay. Um, I'm I'm very chill with this. I do want to explore uh, a little bit. So it appears there's a town notice board. Help out the people of Apico. Oh my god, dude. There's little quests you can do. That's so cool. But I need to have discovered bees in order to use the town notice board. Okay. Um, and we got some people over here. So this is Barnaby fantastic what's buzzing cousin he's a shop yo okay let's go he's selling royal jelly and it refreshes so that that's kind of cool okay um very neat very neat um and then you got old gramps here dr benjamin bhd oh it's you again what do you want now okay how about you frick our right head off how about that benjamin uh i think maybe he ah okay gotcha so he has um he sells like bee materials but he also tells you about some bee related things i understand um can i just like pick your flowers <laughs> can i just like steal your beehive i'll just take your bee no i'm not gonna do that uh, as such like a, a mean move but hey, take your flower back man i'm not trying to make enemies in my damn first uh first foyer into to apico who are you beatrix Oh, hey, Lanky, how are you today? You sell random wood-related things. You are the workshopper. Okay. Um, so, I guess I'm just, like, going and making a home somewhere. Is that the vibe? This is, I mean, right here seems lovely, I suppose. Right on this little, uh, oh, what the heck? There's, like, random houses out here? Whose random house is this? And can I just steal it? Because this kind of looks... Is a kind of brilliant little area. Okay, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go up here, right? I'm gonna go up here, um, and then we'll just start chopping trees. And it's like insanely fast to chop these trees. Holy crap, dude! Um, I am very very chill with this. Um, let's just do some some hardy hardy chopping. We'll we'll wipe out like half the forest. Um, little did you know that the cause for deforestation was me playing Apico. Um, but that's that's good. That's good. We, we probably have more than enough logs at this point in time. There's also some water bees, you can see, uh, chilling, chilling in the river there. 
I feel like we're in like a marsh or something right now, which may not actually be the best location for us to be, um, to be, you know, um, <laughs> I, I can't wait, dude. So many puns incoming. Uh, so hit G. We have claimed this beautiful. That gives us a workbench used for crafting machine tools, beekeeping items and decorative items. Okay. Very good. So resource management, as you start the deforestation of this poor, helpless world, you'll notice you're picking up a lot of things. You can always see your hotbar at the top of the screen. You can open your full inventory by pressing E. Okay, that's very useful. Um, we can pick up an item, move it to a slot, um, right click to pick up half, um, middle on an item to collect as many of that item as you have in the menu. That's kind of cool too. Okay, and you gave me a crate. I will say, so I saw in the menu that I can inverse the scroll. The way that they currently have the scroll makes no sense to me. So this is significantly better. Okay, <laughs> that, that's, that's, that's good, that's good. So now hit E, um, let's place this. Dude, that's so nice. You can just pull it out of this part of your inventory. Um, and then he's just good. And then we can move this. This is the menu, okay. Interesting, that's kind of cool. So I can move away from that and this menu just still stays up. That's freaking sick. That is actually really cool, okay. So that's moving the menu. How do I move it? Do I, can I, can I move it? I can close it. Do I have to like hit it? I don't know how to move you. I, I guess it's just gonna stay right here, right? I mean, we don't need the, we don't need the do much with it. Um, target button. What the heck? <laughs> okay. I, I mean, I'm fine with it right here. I just figured that we could probably move it in a different direction. I can also save at any time, which is very nice. Um, okay, that, I mean, chill. I'm, I'm good with that. So what do we have to do in our book? We got to do some crafting. Time to get crafting. Grab that workbench and plonk it down somewhere. Once placed, you can click on the workbench to view. Uh, you'll see a recipe for the saw bench. Okay. The workbench takes into account all items in any open menu, so you don't need to be carrying the items to be able to craft. That's so good. That's so good. Okay. Um, so, workbench. I mean, I'm, I'm just making home right here now, I guess. Um, I was going to over here anyway, but this little peninsula is a fine place to be. We'll make a, a happy little empire over here. So, in here, we can make a saw bench. So, you take 10 logs. I will just craft you. It just crafts immediately. I love to see that too. Okay. Um, let's put down our, our saw bench then. Little happy saw bench right there. Is it properly lined up? We'll never know. Um, we'll never know and I can't move it. There has to be a way to move stuff, dude. I mean, I, I actually... If you can't move stuff once you place it, that's that's like ridiculously horrible. <laughs> It'd be so bad. Um, but I'm probably just dumb if I'm being honest with you. Um, okay. So we have now claimed we get 20 more logs. Very nice. And the next step, that's all from the introduction, but don't worry. We're not going to leave you completely lost and alone with nothing but bees to keep you company. I mean, that sounds, sounds great. As you discover and craft new items, you'll unlock new chapters of this book where you'll be given different challenges and rewards. Make sure to keep an eye. Now go little one, be free. What? No, I'm not crying. It's just really dusty here. That's all just dust. Go and take this with you, a wooden axe. Okay, so now you have luckily given me um, more stuff. This is kind of cool too, to be honest with you. As you might have realized, there's a lot of menus in this game. If you're unsure what a menu is, you can just press the question mark, okay? You can also move and drag them. Menus will stay open. That's cool, and you gave me another uh, small crate. Advanced controls, okay. Um, shift click to move stuff, very good. If you have more than two menus open, you can use the target button. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Um, Q while hover, hovering over any menu to set it as the target. You gave me some beep compiling. Very nice. This is just free stuff right now. Um, you've already amassed quite a horde of stuff. I haven't. I really haven't. Um, auto sorting. Hit the down button to auto sort. Uh, you're a lovely person. Give me the crate. Picture perfect. Are you enjoying the peaceful world of Apico and want to show off your apiaries to the world? Turn on photo mode, also known as thumbnail mode. Let's go, baby. Um, fantastic. Sticky pearls. Thank you. And then uh, waiting around. At the beginning, you might find there's not much to do during night or if it's raining if you haven't got bees active. Benches and beds let you take a nap. Okay. Sleeping in a bed will set your spawn. Um, that's cool. Holding R for five seconds will respawn you back at the last bed. 
Haha, -ha. won't speed up your beehives. Come on now, be realistic. Okay, thanks for the bench. So at this point, um, we should find bees, right? I think we should find bees. So let's get to why you're really here. Bees. Get started on your beekeeping journey. You'll need to find yourself some bees out in the wild. Different species can be found in different areas. Try having a look. They fly around. Eventually, they'll head back to their hives. You'll need a plain old common bee, a bee from the forest, and a bee from the shores. Okay, once you find a hive, you can open it to look inside, and I can pick up a hive with a hammer. Okay, I'm just going to start there, right? So we can grab this dude, and it, it appears that we've got some honey inside of here as well. Uh, so I'm just going to take you with me. Very nice. Um, and then I'll just continue walking around, having a, having a good looky. Having a good looky around. It appears that I can also... I need a stronger pickaxe to mine those. Okay. That's good to know. Um, there is a, a random house out over here. I like the random houses. That That's a nice little... Nice little vibe to our, our world building that we have going on here. I know there's like a, some legitimate building and stuff in this game as well. Um, so that's... I, I You know me with, with building in games. I, I love making things look purdy so i'm going to probably attempt to make things look purdy in the future uh okay i mean look we, we might as well grab some bees here so I, i've got i've got a bunch of these are shore bees they're verge bees are, are are those what you're looking for they are okay so i just need to find the forest bee and i i'm gonna tell you <laughs> i don't oh dude over here i bet that's a forest bee okay make my way through the damn forest I'm, I'm the man of the bees right now. Are you a forest bee? You're a common. You are not helpful to me um, in any way. What, what does this mean when there's a little icon next to it? That means holy frick. Oh, okay. So we can quickly put the queen back in. These are all commons though, man. I don't, I don't really give a damn about common bees right now. That has to be a forest. That has to be a forest. Okay. Beautiful. I will, I will take all of your honey. Reset you. So we, we definitely want to get some of these beehives up by our uh, place, right? Or else we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be in, in stupid shape by having to run around twenty four seven. Um, I would be perfectly happy just running around collecting honey from, from bees, but. Um, having some bees nearby us would probably be a little bit more valuable. I also, I mean, I feel like I probably should not rob these houses, but I mean, what, they're not using them <laughs> or anything. They're not using their own house. Uh, okay. Welcome back. What do we got? So finding bees, I claim, and I get a beehive. Very good. How do I craft a beehive? I'm assuming there is a way to craft a beehive. Um, barrels, fermenters magazine racks what the heck oh there's all kinds of stuff beehive you need honey to craft a beehive bee box you also need honey for but you also need a basic apiary okay a basic apiary i need wood planks now you have given me the keys to the kingdom how do i make wood planks i probably have to look prob you got to go into the damn saw bench i bet is, is it the damn saw bench allowed items okay um let, let's do it right Put put this sucker in here. You you literally have to saw this stuff. It's the greatest game of all time. I, I don't wanna I don't wanna jump the gun too much, but it's actually possibly the greatest game of all time. Uh okay. Very good. Get your saw on, go play. Take you. Okay. New recipes unlocked. Check your workbench. Um I'm ready, dude. I, I live for crap like this. Like, I, I know it probably looks like my favorite game is, like, The Mining of Isaac, other roguelikes, right? Also, there was a damn forest hive right next to our house. You were probably all screaming at me. Um, I live for this crap. I, I love doing this stupid stuff. So, I'm, I'm in. Basic apiaries. I, sh I should follow the quests, right? I should follow the damn quests. So, we, we've done the sawmill. This would have explained everything, but it's whatever. Um, eventually, you'll be able to upgrade your tools and you won't have to chop wood by hand. That, that's good to know. Interesting. You can also craft wooden planks into wooden sticks, which I can throw at birds trying to steal my stuff. Hopefully that's a joke. Um, I really don't want to kill birds with a stick, but if I have to, I'll, I'll be the one to tell you. I will do it. Basic tools. 
Very nice. Um, I do have to make a spade and a hammer. Hammers let you pick up crafting items, which is going to let me pick up the damn, uh, the damn stuff. And I can move if I want to. Okay. That's good to know. Get building. You know you don't have to just live in the wilderness with your junk all over the place. Fair enough. Okay. Placing tiles and walls item automatically snap. You can use the hammer. Kind of Terraria-esque in the way that that, uh, that works, which is good. I can also paint the town. Pardon me. Okay. Flower power. Have you ever taken the time to stop and smell the flowers? Your bees certainly will. You can pick up flowers and place them near your hives. Okay. Flowers visited by bees will slowly spread and grow. When you have an extractor, you'll be able to get flower seeds from your hives based on the flowers they've visited. And then new hybrid flowers that have direct effects on nearby bees, such as increasing their productivity or allowing them to stay up at night. It's the greatest damn game ever. It's so good. Okay, so we need five of each flower. I can do that. Look, look at how freaking cracked he is. I, I already have, um, like, a bunch of every flower because I'm so damn good at the game. Okay. Dude, I'm... I hope and pray that you all are having a good time because I, I will play this for the rest of the year if you ask me to. <laughs> I would have no issues just becoming... This channel is now a beekeeping channel. Um, I'm in. I really am. Just just let me let me manage my happy little bees. And then I'll, I'll get Anna to come join me with my happy little bees and we'll play multiplayer. And then the channel is just going to become beekeeping forever. Um, and then probably at some point, you know, a, a game dev will reach out to me and say, Hey, we saw you liked Apico. Here's a deck building roguelite where you play as a bee. Um, and you have to use various bees powers in order to... Uh, become the one true bee lord. Uh, fight giant wasps as you take on the bumblebee's dream. Available on itch.io now for $9.99. But here's a free demo. It's an early access and uh, the whole game will be released in 2043. That That's what I'm envisioning sometime soon. Um, okay. Do we have... Oh, I, we have our flower power. Very good. Sorry, I got uh, caught up in just enjoying a good time. The Abbey's Folio. What the hell is the Abbey's Folio? Oh my god, dude. There's a whole world of flowers. It's the greatest game. It's the greatest game. So cross breeding flowers is easy. Your bees do all the hard work. When a bee visits a flower, it collects some pollen, seeds, and all sorts of flower goop and takes it back to the hive. When using frames in your apiaries, this goop collects in the frames and gets all mixed together. Based on the flowers your bees visit, you'll get different seeds when you extract your frames. If you're lucky, the different seeds can mix, giving you new species hybrid seeds. That's sick. So we have, these are the like three basics. Your, your Roy G. Biv, if you may. Um, it's known to calm murky bees. Okay, which we don't have. Also known to calm murky bees. And hermit bees. Okay. And then when we combine these two together, we get... Different stuff. So blue and red become the bee's knees. <laughs> it's so good. Okay. Um, I'm happy. I'm very happy. Let's check our guide again real quick. So beekeeping 101, I want to get some, some apiaries actually going here, right? Now that you have some bees and a beehive, you can start breeding bees. To breed bees, place two bees in the left-hand input to create a queen. The queen will then get to work and start producing honeycomb. At the end of her lifespan, she'll produce cute little offspring. All bees produced in natural beehives will be direct clones of the queen. Okay. Um, cool. So I need 10 common bees in order to do that. Fair enough. We also have tapping trees down here. What's brown and sticky? A stick? Well, okay, yeah, I guess so. But I was thinking more about tree resin. Fair enough. You actually read my mind. Collecting resin from trees will let you infuse your wood. To make it more versatile and last longer for beekeeping purposes. To get resin from a tree, you'll need to create a tree tap. Okay. Very interesting. And then I, this wooden canister, I would assume we can store the stuff in. Let, let's get back to our house. I feel like there's, there's stuff to do here. Uh, but I also, I mean, I kind of want to go get common bees now. But my inventory is also like full as frick. So I should probably go back. I should probably go back. That that seems like a good idea. But Let, let's let's do some inventory management. Boo! He said the I M word, also known as instant messaging. But I I think it is a good idea to do a little inventory management. Let let's plop down these 
suckers over here. I'm going to create some kind of weird pentagram with them. Um, how big is this? Hey, it's like fine, right? It's fine. And then we'll just basically set these up over here so that when we come into this general area, all of our inventory is sitting on the screen ready to be seen. That actually, I'm going to tell you, I think this is an amazing idea. This is actually like really neat the way the inventory system works. I don't know if I'm going to get really tired of it or not. Um, I can also hit escape at any time and it just like gets rid of it. So kind of, kind of cool. So when I shift click these, so if I make you the target, right? And we just make the big one, the B one. Oh dude, it's so easy. It's actually so easy. That is insanely, insanely cool. So all beekeeping materials we put in the big chest. Then this guy, make you the target. And then you press Q on it. That makes it the target. You're going to be the woodworking boy. So this this bench we'll just put up here. We'll get stung by bees while we rest. That's fine. Um, dump all wood-related things into there for right now. Um, waterproofing. So then this will be all of our like random other stuff. So shrub saplings, I suppose those can go in there. Um, suppose flowers also can go in there. Sticky pearls, a pearl of pure resin produced by forest bees. Okay. Um, that is a beekeeping good. You can go in there and then waterproofing goes into this random spot. That's fine. Now, what is this preview slot? I have no idea. Oh, so when I mouse over it, it shows what it is. Okay. Okay, very cool. Very cool. I'm not going to get used to um, how this works, <laughs> where, where my inventory just like stays open over there. I'm going to get really confused by that, but that's okay. I'm chill with it. Um, what do I have to do here? What do I have to do? I, I got to tap some trees, right? Um, I also got to get some bees going, uh, stealing some common bees from their hives. I do have to get some basic tools as well and get building. I'm going to sleep though right i'm i'm gonna sleep um yeah so that makes the night go faster i i mean what's the point <laughs> what's the point if my dude is an insomniac and can literally just like survive living at night uh then i'm just gonna basically let him continue to vibe we'll go you know be hunting throughout the night they're they're also i mean we're just collecting honey from all these suckers over here as time goes on so thank you Open you. Thank you. Open you. We'll take all you. We'll take all you. Uh, I do need the common bees, though, now that I think about it. So we'll, we'll take all them. And guess what? Beautiful. I don't need these other bees. I, I, we, we don't know what the heck's going on. I'm also... I'm going to start freaking deforesting this area because it's a pain in the ass to walk around in here. Um, so goodbye, trees. It's been nice. Hope you find some rice. Give me all of you. I'm a, I'm on a common bee massacre right now, unfortunately. Um, unfortunate bee, if you catch my drift. Um, okay. I need to make a hammer because then I can pick up these beehives and then we can just like have the beehives over here. I, I don't know. I, I have a feeling they probably want me to run just like regular beehives for a little bit before I make the apiaries. But I also know the apiaries are probably... Like, that's probably the move, is to have the apiary. So, we can get that um, by just... Oh, it closed my menus when I walked away. Okay, well, I mean, that's that's fine. Uh, we know you're this guy, so let's do that. Beekeeping 101, we got a reward. Love it. Um, give me my, my honeycombs. And then, what do you want next? Pimp my hive. Okay, the, no. I need to make a damn hive. First, I need to actually have bees. So let, let's make, um, I was smacking that tree with a bee. Now playing Rubicundus. <laughs> what did you just call me? Okay, that's fine. I think I planted a tree or something, or I just got an achievement to plant trees because uh, I've deforested an entire area and haven't planted a tree yet. That's probably fair, actually. That's probably very fair. I mean, we just want to make a nice little area for our bees, right? Um, and unfortunately, what I actually want to do is I want to put a house here, right? And then I want to have some bees. Our, our starting bees, we're just going to put over here, right? And then eventually, this area will probably be a pretty pretty hefty beekeeping area. The only thing this game needs, which I, I don't... 
I don't know, right? And I don't see. There's two things it needs, right? I would love to have a farm as well where I could grow some crops just just for kicks and giggles. I don't I don't think that that is a thing in the game. Maybe it is. I don't know. Um, and I would freaking love to just be able to fish for no no good reason whatsoever. Uh, because we all know every good survival game has to have a fishing mini game. It just it just has to. Okay, it just has to. So cleaned up this area real nice. The the, the spam clicking was actually quite enjoyable. Um, what is this? A honey rose seedling can be dug back up with a spade. Just leave it there. It, it's it's vibing. It's having a good time. Make me a hammer. Okay, and I might as well make the spade while I'm here, right? Get our, our basic tools reward, uh, which gives me 50 stone. Okay, very cool. And then we should go get some, some, some hives, right? We need to just get some hives, and then that way we can uh, get some bees actually going. So I would imagine we have to get ourselves uh, the yellow hives for these common bees. So let's grab you, and then we're also going to grab you, and then we're going to grab you, and that's three hives. I mean, that that's a good good starting amount, I'd say, but I mean, I might as well take two of these green ones as well. Like, if we're going to do it, we might as well do it. I'm leaving a bee just floating down there. Hopefully, he'll survive. Um, I'm not going to I'm not gonna think too long and hard about it, though. Uh, okay. This is good. This is very good. So now I can go yoink, 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 and then we'll, we'll do a little segregation. Yoink, yoink. And then I'm going to need some flowers, right? Just get those nice and happy. I'm gonna grab our other flowers that we have. Um, make sure that we get some nice cross pollination going on. I planted a damn sapling. Hold on. I would like to chop down this sapling immediately. Dig it up, please. Uh, oh, this was a flower sapling type thing. And these are water flowers, dude. They're water flowers. That actually makes a lot of sense. Close that for a second. Um, Probably, like, should put some of these over here, though, just so that they uh, cross-pollinate. So, right now, I suppose we're, we're kind of making the, the red flowers cross-pollinate with the blue over here. Then, let's do red flowers and yellow flowers over here, right? And we'll just start cross-pollinating red-blue and then yellow-red. And then we just got to do blue-red, which maybe we can do over here. Get some water hives, right? And do blue, blue, yellow. No, blue, red. Blue, no, blue, yellow. <laughs> he's, he's very bad at everything. Um, okay. Hive me. Uh, we're going to throw two common bees in. Very good. We're going to throw two common bees in. We're going to throw two common bees in. They're, they're happy. They're healthy. We're going to throw a forest queen in. We're going to throw two forests in. That's going to make a queen. I just realized that I literally have a queen, so maybe I should go find another hive, right? I should go find a hive. But we're sitting in town. Just kidding. There's a hive right here. So And it's done, which means that I can put my queen in. This is all very happy and good. This is all very happy and good. You're a common purebred blessed bee. What the hell? They have traits? Okay, Um, that's too much for my brain to handle at the current moment in time. I would prefer that you didn't throw this kind of... Uh, crazy psycho uh, action at me this early on in my uh, mission to become the greatest beekeeper to ever damn do it. Um, I should really just take these these beehives back with me. Uh, but there's also something, there's something charming about just keeping them, you know, vibing in the world. Having a, a damn good time. Just letting them kind of be whatever they want to be. Right? Here, go ahead. Get Get going. Hope you're happy. There's there's a really happy flower right here. I just plucked it out of the damn ground. Okay. Okay. Holy crap, dude. You produce so fast. You only live for like three minutes? Holy lordy. Okay, that is not long at all. That is not long at all. It's also four in the morning. My guy's never slept. He's a pure living, breathing psychopath. Um, This is apparently already like done over here. No. You can't breed with queens. It's just a queen. Okay. I mean, that's even better for us in a lot of ways. Um, and now they're all happy and they're producing honey for me. Um, honestly, I'll call it a wraps right there. 
<laughs> we've 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 completed Apico. We've done it. We we have ourselves a successful uh successful beekeeping mission. He's so good. He's cracked out of his mind. Um they're visiting this hive. Why are you visiting this hive? That's fine. Just dump. Are you a purebred? You're a blessed bee. Holy crap. You're a blessed bee. I don't know what the hell blessed bees mean. So you have a three in the uppercase P trait. I don't know what that means, but that's fine. Um, hopefully you create more more blessed purebred bees. That's going to do it for this episode of Apico. Hopefully you enjoyed. Um, we're going to keep on doing what we do in the next episode we'll get some carpentry going we'll hopefully make a house continue to collect some bees it's the happiest little place i've ever seen in my life thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one have a good rest of your day Bye bye